Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make this soda pop machine that would normally dispense fountain sodas if it was real. And um, it's for 112 scale to sit on the counter. You know, those really big ones that you see like in Sam's Club or, you know, the um, restaurants and stuff like that. That's what this is. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these little pieces here that look like this and we're going to paint them. I like to use this because it doesn't use build up for this part because it is black. So I just go over top of that one time. I'll do it on the back just so you can kind of see. And I go just a little bit above it so that it is thoroughly covered. you should have six of those then you should have four little teeny tiny rectangles and then one that looks kind of like a comb would so what you need to do is get yourself something that you can put crazy glue on I like to use this little piece of plastic just because it's plastic and take your crazy glue and just kind of like put a little bit of it on there This is because you don't want to take any chances of getting the crazy glue everywhere because you don't want it to overfeed and bleed on the edges. I mean, you can dip it in there if you have a really good nozzle, but my luck with um, this doesn't always work out as well as I'd like it to. So I'm going to put some right on the back of here, and I'm just going to spread it out so it's not any bubbles like globbed on there. Then I'm going to take that and I'm going to line it up with this so that it's even. You got to make sure you get that edge even, otherwise it's going to make it wonky. The first one and the last one on the ends are the ones that you need to make sure you get them straight. Now I'm just going to put a little bit on here so my fingers don't get in the way. And I'm going to line that up. Again, if you got a really good tip, you can do this by just squeezing it on there. But my tip is kind of old and worn. So it's getting to the point that it's at the end of the bottle. Repeat this process all the way to the end. Okay, now, at this point, your little rectangles that you have, they're not going to be painted. They're going to be just regular um, wood color. You want to set them aside. Don't lose them, but set them aside. If you decide not to paint them, then you can always just download some images of some sort that is not copyrighted and glue it to it for that purpose of labels. Okay, now you have the grate, which is going to be this part here. This is the front. Just so you get an idea, this is the top. This is the very, very top because it's got the air holes for breathing. This is where our fountain drinks come in. And then you have your bottom, your two sides. Only one side is going to be finished though, so you're going to need to paint it. It's just the way the laser cuts it. Okay. Now, for the spacers, they have a little circle in it the very very center 
so that you have that. And then this one is a spacer as well, and you can see that there is a circle in there. Then now you have three of the same size rectangles. This is gonna be your back and then your middle, so you need to hold on to those. You're gonna take one of these and you're gonna set it right down, even with like the edge of this without messing it up. And then you're gonna take this piece here and you're gonna go up just a tiny bit above this line. Oop, I didn't have enough crazy glue on there, it just popped off. If you hear that noise in the background, I apologize. My neighbor's getting her boat ready. And if you don't hear it, that's great. Okay. So you want to make sure that the edge of this is above that. So what I did is I took this and I just kind of lined it up a little bit and pulled this up just a tiny bit. To where it's even. Do you see that? Okay, so now I know that's even. So I'm gonna take my marker and I'm gonna draw a line. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and put some crazy glue right here in the center and I'm using the tip to spread it out some because I don't want it to exceed over on the edges and don't go all the way to the edge with it and then you can just kind of do like one down drag it don't really put it there just drag it and then you're gonna line that back up again and then at this point you can take your clamps or your clips, whatever you have. I like these binder clips because they're pretty sturdy, but you need to make sure you have it even on the edges. Otherwise, it's not gonna work out when you go to put it together and you're gonna have to sand it and everything. Okay, now let that dry and set up for just a minute. Once you've done that, then you wanna sit here and put the bottom piece on. And you're gonna line that up. With the bottom. just like that. Now you have these spacers. Okay, so once you have your spacer, then you wanna go ahead and put a little bit of glue right here in the corner. And then you wanna take the spacer, that's the long skinny one, not the short one and you wanna put it right along the edge. Now it's very important to keep it with the edge of that. So it's gotta be even along this edge, otherwise it's not gonna line up in the back. Remember one side is done and the other side is not. And this actually will come up one eighth of an inch from the bottom. So you need to have a spacer or mark it with a pen. Align this up with the bottom of this piece here or your spacer. And then line it up that way.
so it should look like that. Now the next step is to go ahead and take this piece here and line it up there. Take your spacer that you have and you're going to glue it in at the bottom. I went ahead and added a line on there so you guys can see which way to line it up. So that you are one eighth inch in. should look like that. Now you want to come one eighth inch down from here and that's where that's going to go. But if it's easier you can attach the top first. Make sure that when you glue that, you are pushing it forward to line up to where you have one eighth inch on the outside. And I'm using the other block to make sure I have it lined up with the back and the front adequately. At this point, go ahead and put some crazy glue right in there. And right along here. Then you want to slide that down in that hole. pushing it back make sure you have one eighth inch on here when it's gluing you can also put it on this piece if you want as long as you have it one eighth inch because it's going to keep the back in line.
now you want to go ahead and put some glue right along here. Go ahead and clamp that together or hold it until that crazy glue sets up. Make sure you have it nice and even. It should start to look like this. Okay, so now at this point, you can either use pipettes or you can use wooden dowels. It's up to you what you want to do. This part won't be included in the kit, but you can put the wooden dowels in there as your fountain spouts, or you can use pipettes. Personally, I like pipettes because I can squeeze them down in there and get a nice snug fit. And then I can cut them off. Okay, once you have one cut, then you can measure and cut the rest of them. And it doesn't have to be an exact on this part here. So you can kind of guesstimate it a little bit if you like because you don't see the other end of this where it's a different height. And you can get pipettes on Amazon or eBay. Anybody sells them, really. Now, if you don't want them clear, you need to paint them. I'm going to be painting mine with a Sharpie. I'm also going to take the Sharpie and go over top of this and paint it black. The Sharpie reacts as like a stain, so it kind of stains it for you. Once I've done that, then I'm going to put my bottles, fountains back in here. I can pick them up. down in there just a little bit to where you get it even. And it starts to feel really snug. Once you've done that, then you want to go ahead and go across it and cut them evenly. Now you can put some crazy glue on here at this point to hold these in place. But what I do for mine is I take my little torch very carefully I heat them up 
and then I flatten them. That way they can't come out. And then they're held in there. If you need to touch up the Sharpie, you can. If you got one that's melted a little too much, you can add some crazy glue on there if you're worried about it moving around to keep it in place and just paint over top of it. All right, now I went ahead and painted the inside of this with the Sharpie. And the next step is going to be to have these closest to the edge. Put a little crazy glue there. And actually, I'm just going to put it on the back of here. I'm going to attach that right there, making sure that it's even. I'm going to hold my side up so I can make sure I've got that side even as well. And then I'm going to line some crazy glue up just on the inside just to kind of give it that extra added hold because it's such a small piece. And you can do wood glue for this part as well. This one, I think, is just a little too wiggly for my blood, so I'm going to put a little bit of glue on there to hold that in place. It melted just a little too much. I held the heat there too long. So I'm just going to hold that in place with that. Okay, so at this point, if you want to paint the back of this silver, you should probably do that so you can fit your paintbrush in here, or you can mark it and do it before you put it together, like I did this one silver. Or you can use um, tape or anything really to put in there if you want. So you can measure and cut a background that looks like this and you can slide it down on there. This is just tape from the um, heating and cooling section. Okay, I'm going to make this just a tiny bit longer than it needs to be. Now that I've got an idea, because I've got the whole raw tape, tape, I'm just going to recut this so it's a little bit more even.
you know, so it looks like stainless steel, I'm taking this and I'm just scratching it as I press it down. And you can use a piece of sandpaper to do this as well if you don't have a pair of metal tweezers. cut this little corner here off so that we have a spot for the glue to go. Once that's done, we need to glue our spacer here. Make sure it's even with the edge. And that's to hold this tray here. We want to go ahead and either line this with the tape and put your little slice marks in there or you want to paint it. I'm going to paint this. Just using a metallic silver pen. And you have to do this part before you can put it in there. Right, now you want to go ahead and put this right along here. Oh, and also line in here with glue. Sorry. <laughs> Get right along that edge and then stick that to that. Just like that. And this, you can see the difference with the tape and with the paint it. And you can decide which one you prefer. Looks just like that. Now, now you want to go ahead and line this up completely with the glue. Okay, so now you want to go ahead and put that right on there and sandwich that together. If it ends up not being even, just push it down and then squeeze it together until the glue sets. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and add some crazy glue here and that'll hold all that together no matter what. Occasionally if you didn't hold it and the proper place when it was drying that may end up offsetting that top corner a little bit but that's an easy fix if you did because the glue will hold it all in place let that set up like that and then the very last part is 
the face piece. Apply your glue here. And then attach your face. And then if you're going to add the labels, then before you do the labels, you need to glue them to these pieces. Other than that, your machine is done, except for the exception of the labels. So for these, we're going to do just a tiny bit on the back of each one of these of glue. And I'm doing it this way because they're individual. And we're going to slide that right in there. Oh, if you have overflow of your paint, like I do on this one, you have to fix that first. Because you don't want to see that. When I see overflow, I mean like how that is right there. You don't want to see that. For the end one, I'm just going to put it directly on there. So that's the one that's going to be most likely to be hit if you bump it into anything. And then that is what it would look like. Paint the outside whatever color you want. And you have a soda machine.
All right, I hope you liked this tutorial and like and subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video.